Hello everyone, I'm Qin Yu Wang from TU Eindhoven. I'm very happy to introduce our research to you. This research aims at developing one type of variable stiffness and damping joints, which are also referred to as adaptive joints later, to be used in the structures under dynamic excitations such as strong wind and earthquakes. This paper presents the experimental testing on semi-active vibration control through adaptive joint system. Vibration problems exist widely in engineering area such as buildings and bridges under earthquakes and strong winds. Control of structural vibration is an established field of research. There already exist several solutions to vibration separation. However, existing solutions normally consist of complex devices that are external to the structure and therefore are not well integrated and require complex installation. Existing semi-active control devices based on variable stiffness and damping offer limited performances for vibration control. In addition, the strategies require complex control laws. Our solution is an adaptive joint system. This video shows a frame prototype which is equipped with 12 adaptive joints under a resonance basic excitation at 25 degrees Celsius. When the joints are actuated to the transition temperature 65 degrees Celsius, the acceleration and the displacement of the frame significantly decrease up to 88% and 78% respectively. In our research, a polyurethane-based shape memory polymer has been chosen to make the adaptive joint because shape memory polymer features a large stiffness variation between a glassy state and a rubbery state. When the material is actuated to the viscoelastic region, in parallel with the stiffness reduction, the material damping increases uh, dramatically. It reaches to the peak in the center of viscoelastic region. This video shows one early prototype of the adaptive joints, which is actuated by resistive heating. We can see that after heating, the joint can be bended by hand. However, the relatively low stiffness and recovery stress of shape member polymers have limited their applications in load-bearing elements. The use of uh, continuous fibers significantly increases the mechanic strength and the st stiffness of the shape member polymer composites. Those composites are also more resistant to impact, uh, crash, and fatigue, and can potentially be used for structural applications. In this research, the final design of the joint consists of uh, two parts, a 3D printed shape memory polymer core and uh, a shape memory polymer aramid composite scheme. The scheme has two functions here, to avoid the enormous deformation of the joints when the joint stiffness is reduced through thermal actuation, to strengthen the connection of the joints with the structural element. Through thermal actuation of the joint, the shape member polymer material enters uh, the viscoelastic region through a glass rubber transition. At the component level, joint stiffness variation causes a frequency shift of the structure. The increase of material damping during transition phase causes an increase of structural damping. The frequency shift and the damping increase of the structure can be used for vibration control. A semi-active feed-forward control strategy based on frequency shift and damping is developed for seismic response control. After detecting the excitation, the joints are actuated to and kept at the transition temperature until a control stop criterion is met. For example, the ground acceleration reduces below a set shred, the thermal actuation is then switched off and the joints are naturally cooling down. This is a one-tenth scale, three-story frame prototype designed for shake table tests. Besides the testing under resonance loading, which I have shown in the beginning, other tests were under multiple earthquake loadings. Future works may look into more complex structure layout or other structure types. For example, in Plate or shell structures, shape member polymer can be the middle layers in sandwich panels. Under a resonance load at the end of the cantilever panel, by actuating the shape member polymer layer, 
the acceleration and displacement of the end decrease significantly. This case study shows that the variable stiffness and damping system are also effective in vibration mitigation for shell or plate structures. In conclusion, this research developed a new semi-active vibration control device based on variable stiffness and damping. Adaptive joint is multifunctional. One joint functions as a load transfer component and a semi-active control device at the same time. Adaptive joint can be controlled through thermal actuation. It does not involve moving parts nor mechanisms. Through thermal actuation of the joints, in the structure level, a reduction of structure frequencies and an increase of structure damping ratio occur simultaneously. Measured from the experiment testing in this paper, by actuating the joints, the first model frequency shifts up to 27% and the structure damping ratio increases from 2.6% to 8%. Adaptive joint is well integrated into diverse structural systems. The semi-active control used adaptive joint is effective to mitigate the structure response under various loading conditions. Shake table test results under multiple earthquake excitations show that the top story acceleration and the base shear are significantly reduced in the range of 43 to 54% and 35 to 67% respectively. More details can be found in our journal publications. So thank you very much for your attention.